All right, as we get older and wiser, staying fit, fine, and healthy, of course, can be a little bit of a challenge. Owner of Armstead Fitness in Fort Myers, Eric Armstead, is here with us, right? Getting uh, more on how encouragement and empathy can go a really long way. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? Well, I can't complain. How are you? A full recovery, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, knees getting better, knees better. Good. Yeah, um, at Armstead Fitness, that's the goal. Um, when, we, when a person comes into our, our facility, we try our best to start with empathy, um, trying to understand them from their point of reference, and then we, we delve into the body, and we go from there. What's kind of like that initial conversation like? So someone calls you, and they say, or maybe some more common things that you hear, is that I want to get in better shape, I want to be able to move a little bit better, I'm trying to rehab. Right. I mean, what, what are some of those initial conversations that you're really used to hearing? Well, I, I work with uh, a lot of people with Parkinson's, right? And so that's just one subcategory of Armstead Fitness, but um, fear. Um, they, come in, they, they come into a new place, they don't know, what's, you know what to expect. Uh, they've been recommended, they've heard about what goes on there, but they don't know. So first thing with Armstead Fitness we do is we just say, hey, come on in, let's have a conversation um, and kind of bring that fear down. Um, you're not gonna be hurting here. Um, we're here to help you. And, uh, and that's what we do, bring them in. And we always offer that complimentary session. And that's just to get to know each other, make sure we're compatible for you. If we're not compatible, which I don't remember the last time that happened, but <laughs> if we're not compatible, we will find someone um, that, that will help you. And, and I'm sorry, go ahead. No, you're all right, please. Oh, okay. and, um, and what we also try to do is keep a group um, with us. So I have a physical therapist um, that I'm able to reach out to if I need to say, hey, you, you are outside of my scope. Mm. How can I help you? So I'll reach out to her and then she, we'll, we'll work together. Collaborate. Yeah, we'll be collaborative, yep. Now, let me ask you this. We are getting towards the end of January. I know it's hard to believe. Right. You know, some people that might have started January 1st strong with those workouts, right. they're like, oh, I'm gonna, this is my year. I'm yeah. My New Year's resolution. Right. This, yeah. is, this is like, oh, I'm getting in shape. And then I think you're gonna, yeah. They're starting to slow down. They might yeah. be starting to right. slow down yeah, yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah. You know? yeah. How would you continue to encourage those folks? Right, so programming. Uh, programming and accountability. You know, you put those two together and they understand that this is a two month program. And so that gets us at least through February where you know, they're locked in mentally, this is what I have to do. And encouragement is, is what gets us there. You know, making sure that we're listening, we're hearing what they're saying. Um, and sometimes you hear that I, I don't really feel like doing this no more, even when they're not saying it. You can hear it, you can hear it in their voice. And trying to figure out a way to encourage them even more so that they continue on their journey, so that they can reach and putting small goals in front of them. Like we start off with stabilization so that they're able to stabilize. And that's a big win for an older adult. You know, they have balance and they have balance, they have control. And if they have control, they're gonna hang out with Armstead Fitness a little longer. And, and for those that don't know Armstead Fitness, you can see some of the clips up here. Uh, I don't know if that's Miss Debbie. Is no, that no, 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 no. I don't think it was no, Miss Debbie. That was Miss CJ. Yeah, she's, I was gonna say Miss Debbie. Miss Debbie's yeah. in some of the clips. I yeah. knew that. Yeah, she's the one killing yeah, the ropes. Yeah, she Crush was on the ropes. Uh, yeah. You saw the boxing because at Armstead Fitness. That's there's, 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 there's Miss Debbie. It, uh, on the right. Yeah. Uh, the, you know, the motto is boxing is for everybody. Yes. But my question for you, uh, Eric, was you, you had mentioned fear. Uh, and something that, you know, for a lot of people, either beginning of the year, New Year's resolution, they want to get in better shape, right. can be a little intimidating to go into a gym and then start working out amongst a lot of people. Right. You're more of the personal training aspect right. of that. Right. To kind of take somebody, you can almost touch on it, outside of that group setting, yes. have a more personalized attack, you find that to kind of help encourage them more because not everybody's watching you. Right, absolutely. Like, we, we design Armstead Fitness um, to be that new hybrid where COVID kind of shut us all down. And so we opened our minds and said, wait a minute, if we give people personalized attention, you know what, they're gonna feel more comfortable. They're gonna see us, you know, wiping everything down. And so that, that's what we do. So when you come into Armstead Fitness, you're by yourself. You and the music that you ask Alexa to put on. <laughs> and you put that, and you, and you know, and so sometimes we, have, we come in there, we're listening. To, my playlist looks crazy right now. So you would not never, you wouldn't know my playlist based on just me because I got the 60s, the 40s. I have, the, you know, the, all genres of music. Something for everybody. Yeah, because they're enjoying it. Absolutely. You know, so we, yeah, so we get in there and that's what we do. And we're one-on-one.
I love that. Yes. Yes, thank you. We're going to stick around for the next hour as yes. well. So we're going to get some more tips on that. Yes, thank, thank you. you again. I know it's early. I know. And cold. <laughs> and cold. <my laughs> and goodness. cold. Speaking of, uh, we're going to actually have hope when we come back after this. 629 is the time. We're going to be right back after this. All right, as we get older and wiser, staying fit and healthy can be a little bit of a challenge. Uh, that's why we've got our, the owner of Armstead Fitness in Fort Myers, Eric, here. He's going to get us more on how encouragement and empathy can go a long way. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Welcome back. I'm, I'm better now that you're here. You know, yeah. you're, you're bright, sunny personality. It's the bald head. It's the bald head. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately. Is that, yeah, yeah, that is why. Yeah, that is why. That is why. Uh, but we're, we're using that word encouragement and empathy, or the words encouragement and empathy this morning because uh, Nissa brought up a great point about an hour ago okay. uh, during our six o'clock newscast, which was like right around this time of year, right. we're getting into February, those New Year's resolutions might start to be fading away. Right. Uh, everybody wants to get in shape uh, to start off the new year, but you need to stay encouraged right. yeah. to keep pushing through that and to make sure you're surrounding yourself with the right people so you can reach your fitness goals. Right, right, absolutely. Ar Armstead Fitness, the goal is to encourage people to continue to move. And we do that by our programming um, and our message, our message of empathy, our, me our message of making it about them and not about us. And so we try to set things up. For example, we have trust groups. And those trust groups are, for example, let's just say you two like to work out together. Um, you will push each other. And so in our safe space, we'll bring you in and you know you have your team. Um, sometimes it's husband and wife. Sometimes it's um, a community that has about four to six people because that's max in our place, six people, small group training. Um, and this way you know I got to get up because uh, Mrs. Gertrude is going. Right. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's looking for me and she needs me. Yeah. She's going to call you out. And you can see some of the group settings right there. Yeah. The ropes is Miss Debbie. Yep. Uh, she's yep. a regular here on the show. Miss yep. Debbie is the bomb. Yep. Yep. Um, yep. So there's a group setting. And so that's a perfect example yeah. of a group setting. That is a group from Lexington. Um, that's CJ. That young lady's 80 years old. She told me I can say her age. Um, strong as a bull. She's stronger than me, I'll tell yeah, you that. Yeah, she's strong, and, and uh, we've been working together for a while. You had mentioned we empathy of course can yep. you go a little bit more into that because i know especially with maybe older adults right. you really have to adjust you know they, it's not they're not going to be able to do every single thing that maybe someone who's 22 is going to be able to do right 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 so it's just building the uh, building blocks um, starting off with balance starting off with stabilization so that they kind of feel comfortable and the empathy part comes in understanding put putting myself in their shoes um, and some of those things can be um, our conversation, remembering their age, sometimes remembering their, when, how they grew up um, and understanding that and just having conversation that mirrors that. Yeah. When, when we're talking about uh, Armstead Fitness, for those uh, that haven't heard of Armstead Fitness, you haven't met Eric before, he's been in here a lot. Uh, we talk about boxing, a motto is, is yes. boxing is for everybody. Yes. Uh, you see some of the clients are in I've learned a lot of stuff about yeah. boxing and, from this guy. Yeah. And, and, and they're incredible and in great shape. Uh, but for some people, when it, encouragement, um, it, it works a little bit better when you're in that private setting, when you're right. in, in a group maybe with people that you know, right. or you're just individual, right. you know, you're by yourself, and you can get through a workout because you don't necessarily feel comfortable maybe going into a gym and working out. Right. And you might feel a little self-conscious with other people watching you. I know sometimes I do. Right, uh, absolutely. How much time you're spending on a machine or, or right. something of that nature. Yeah. Uh, so do, do you find that, you know, that's kind of what some of your, your clients kind of gear themselves towards are these private lessons? Yeah, I, I feel like the, my clients are, it feels refreshing. Um, <clears throat> although I speak of a lot of uh, older adult, I also teach young teenagers. You know, and to have a young teenager come in and have the ability to learn the form, um, you know, make noises that they're not used to making and breathing yeah. patterns. Sure. You know, all those things can be kind of, it can be scary. And so when you're in a private setting, you're able to say, you know what, okay, I'm going to grunt a little bit, you sure. know, so I can learn my breathing. I am going to, I'm going to put make myself vulnerable. And, and then that, that builds strength, that builds encouragement and... From there, you know, you watch these young people and these older adults do things that they didn't think they can do. 
Absolutely. Eric, thank you so much, as always, for coming yeah, in. Absolutely. You guys can uh, find Eric. There's all of his loca location. There's all of his information, as well as the location there and the website. So if you're interested in uh, going and learning some stuff, Armstead Fitness, place to be, apparently. Yeah. Eric, thanks so much again for coming in. Thank you. I appreciate you. Of course. 729 is the time. We're going to be right back after this.